To be honest, I don't know how long I will still be recording. I am still recording in the same se session as before. And I just said that I would record until I got tired of recording. Well, I'm not actually tired of recording, I'm just tired in general. But who needs sleep, really? I want that chest! What kind of beast is this? What was that? What was that black shadow? Also, in the last episode, I needed to edit out one single word that I said towards the end. But whatever, I'm not going to speak about that. In today's episode, we're going to progress with the storyline and get the uh, second life upgrade, well, almost immediately. As you see, we're already in this area again. Um, as far as I know, this is the last time we'll be getting into this area for a while. We will be going here back, we'll be coming back here once more in our story playthrough. Oh, I believe so at least. One, or, maybe one or two times more. But one or two times more. Towards, uh, more towards the end of the game. Or whatever, the second half of the game. Now, you're supposed to um, do this and then um, sh slow down time and run up um, the stairs. Um, that's why you need the slow ability, but actually, you can also just roll your way to victory right here. I almost made it. You can actually do make that, but I can't. I cannot make that. So I'm just going to use the slow ability to uh, slow down time and make it like that. Hope you like it like that. I don't know what, why I'm saying that. Also, I don't want to do that, but whatever. I already made it. I don't really care anymore. Because we already made it. And that we made it means that we're not only that we get a new life upgrade, but also that our life will get completely refilled by magic. By the magic of the sands. I... I don't know. Now we get stronger and we have more health, as you can see. Don't forget there are nine l upgrades and this is the second one. But I'm not I'm not going to retry it but basically if you um, roll jump up here and roll against this wall here you will make it in time if you are in efficient enough to do it you can do it you can uh, make this second life upgrade your first life upgrade technically if you wanted to don't know why that would be Helpful now, but whatever. Especially if you're playing along with me. I don't know why you would be, but... Friends? Why are, why are you bumping your head against that? It's not advisable to do so. Oh, you're back! Give me your knife. That's a very nice knife you have there. Oh, you idiots are also back. 
How nice of you! The welcoming parade is back! I wonder if that's what these guys are. If these are the, uh, you know, the gods that uh, guard the main entrance or something, that welcome guests into the main entrance. Or maybe something, you know, the welcoming party, basically, the other welcoming party. The tea committee. I don't know. Would you like some tea? Yes, I do. Would you like some um, refreshments, sir? Well, well, how very nice of you to offer. Still can't get the third life upgrade. Okay, thank you for dying. I am super, thanks for asking. Now this little section, I find, this little section right here, is also what I find um, irksome to find out that this game wasn't playtested. Because of this section, Right here, no, I didn't want to jump. Uh, because we can make it true just fine, by the way. The issue with this one... Is when you're going back. Back through. Basically, this is one-way street and... The way back, I find, isn't programmed very well. It's possible, but... It's just not very streamlined. You will see what I mean. Because we'll be going back momentarily. Momentarily. Oh, so yes, in order to open or to go through these doors in time, you need to do that. This is a dangerous place. You should not have come back. I don't have the luxury. I must see the Empress. Uh, impossible. My mission. It is very urgent. I must see her. You don't understand. When the last grain falls from this hourglass, the Empress will create the sands of time. No business of yours could be more important than that. I have come to stop the Empress from creating the sands. Huh, then yours is a fool's errand. The creation of the sands was foretold in the timeline. It cannot be stopped. I just saved your life. Twice. All I'm asking for is some information. Tell me where the sands will be created. In there. But the room has been sealed. You cannot enter. There must be a way. Ha! You'd have to undo the very fortifications of the castle. An impossible task. When a man is faced with his own death, he finds the impossible less of a barrier. Tell me how. Very well. The gate is controlled by an elaborate clockwork system located inside the mechanical tower. Even assuming you can reach the device and activate it, the machine still needs power. As water passes through the moat, the machine will receive power. But first, you'll have to fill the moat from the supply in the garden tower. Activate both towers, and the door will open. You'll need this. It's more than just a weapon. 
It also serves to activate a system of bridges which will grant you access to the other towers. It won't make a difference, though. What do you mean? Succeed or fail, the outcome is the same. You will not stop the sands from being created. What is written in the timeline cannot be changed. Thanks for the advice. You gained the Serpent Sword. You can then do now a special combo of 4 times B instead of 3 times B. Also see how these two are light up, lit up. That means we already got two uh, life upgrades. These, this room has a special significance when it comes to life upgrades. Also this. Isn't there anything that I can collect sands from? Apparently not. So am I trapped in this room? No, I don't think so. Just need to wait for the door to completely open or to get through. Let's go back, let's go back. Isn't this nice? We just went this way and are already going back. Now I need to wait for this thing. Barely made that. You can almost barely make that. As you can see, um, it is possible to get to it. It's just a little bit clunky, I find at least, to get back. Uh, especially when it comes to um, a part where we're going up to next. Wait, what? Okay, that happened. A little bit early, then you die. Go too early, then you die. Wait. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Tell me. Yes, fuck you, game. Fuck you. 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 Fuck the shit out of your brains because you're a piece of fucking crap speed up times 20 Thank you! And goodbye. Uh. 
Fuck you. 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 Fuck you, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. Today's video has reached its maximum amount of fuck yous. Please, please go watch a different video for more fuck yous. Yeah, fuck you especially! Timer. Actually, I don't care. Honeybee just does not care. You shouldn't care either. In the next episode... We'll be getting another life upgrade. Right from the back. And then we'll go to the water tower, I believe. Until then. Fuck you! Fuck, 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 fuck! Fuck, 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 Fuck 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 fuck